Boys and girls, Alex here again. Just recently a friend of mine asked me about pen making and in particular he asked me about my blank cutting jig. I quickly drew up, I didn't actually make this under SketchUp, so I quickly drew up a SketchUp diagram for him and I thought while I'm on there I might as well demonstrate for him as well as anybody else that's interested how it works. The jig is basically made up of a piece of 16mm uh, MDF with a runner that fits into my mitre slot. Now that runner is placed according to where the blade is located. The jig is pressed into the blade and under the jig there is this stop block that stops it again. That has to be positioned according to individual's runner. Now the whole idea of this jig is just made out of a 3mm stock that I had lying around. It's a very basic frame. What I did was I laid down the frame, put this piece in the middle of it, held it together, screwed it down, then sanded it a bit so it had run smoothly through there. Added a couple of springs. This knob here, the only different thing you might say is I did tap a thread into that wood. So if you bring this runner or slider out, you can actually tighten that knob down to hold it in place. However, that's really not necessarily as, you, as you'll see in a minute. I've also provided a little tray here to keep all my miscellaneous crap. Now, I'll show you how it works, but I'm too tight ass to actually use a bit of blank, so I'll just use a uh, piece of pine, but Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter what you use. Now, what I'll do is, the way it works is you pick the blank of whatever or the tube for whatever you actually want. This is for a cigar long piece. No, actually, yeah, and that's a cigar short piece. I usually keep them in there to, because these are the common ones I use. Now, hang on, I will go and get something else before I go any further. Okay, I'm back, but before I do anything else, I better tension the blade because I'd hate to start, pardon the back, start the banter up without the blade. Um, now, the way this jig works, I hope you can see it. Hang on, I might bring it up a little, the camera up a little bit closer because you don't need to see all the other crap, hang on, we'll go this way. You take your blank. Now normally what I tend to do is I usually give, uh, with the blank, allow a quarter of an inch tolerance for blowouts when you drill the blank or shaping or trimming. Look, it depends on what you like, but you decide what you want. I use 6 mil. MDF spacer or you can use a 3mm MDF spacer. The way it works is you pull this slider back, put your pen blank in there and you put your spacer in there, push it up and that's it. Now if you want 3mm, hang on, put that in there and you've got your three mil. There you have it. Then what you do is you take a blank, you put it in there. Oh, you can actually now lock this down to stop accidentally moving this. And then you can get rid of these. You don't need them there anymore. Take your blank, put it against that piece, start up your bandsaw. Oops, here you go. Start up and make your cut. 
Now why didn't that go through all the way? Actually, that basically because you put it down there and make a cut. You could, can you? No, you can't put it there unless you twist it around the other way. But it's easier to just put it down there, make a cut. You'll find that this leading, oh, hang on, let's stop, stop that. That leading is quite long, but that's because it depends on what size blade I've got. If I've got a big curved blade on there, it'll come all the way through. If I haven't, it doesn't. So, I can either put it there. I don't tend to put it there. It's down there. Either way, doesn't matter. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, nothing magical. Hope it gives somebody some ideas. Again, you don't have to make it as fancy as this. Um, but I do like it rather than uh, big bulky stuff that you need to move around. Anyway, that's it boys and girls. Keep safe. Catch you later. As always, I always forget to mention one or two things and come back and retake it and blow the whole bloody video out. Just a thing about these springs. Now, I'll actually, actually I came back to loosen the tension off this unit. Now, the springs are nothing in particular, just grab yourself any reasonable size spring. Um, I just found that, that these springs I had lying around, um, a single spring wasn't strong enough um, because of the dimensions of this piece of wood. Now if I had this piece of wood much wider and put the spring out there then maybe I could have had enough tension on it. But I found that I used two, uh, two springs. Also make sure that take the smallest uh, pen tube you've got and put that in there and ensure that you cover all options. However, as you can see, this closes up practically to zero, so all options are covered. Also, these spaces, I've just picked these up just to demonstrate how you use them. Normally what I would have is a small, narrow piece of spacer that I can put in there that fits under the spring. It doesn't distort the spring like this one does and that's it and usually I keep them in here but I haven't used this jig for a while because I haven't made any pens for a while I don't know where they are and again it's any scrap you need all you need to do is have uh, some sort of a measurement um, as I say you know even putting that up there like that is good enough um, when it came to where's that other three mil piece um, you know just break a piece off anywhere like that if you want a three mil put that in there and bang off you go um, as I say the only thing is that with this small blade you can't put the blank on there so you put it down there and it really doesn't matter where you put it um, it'll work just as well now the bandsaw blade doesn't make it a neatest cut but you tend to trim up the ends anyway so who cares whether it's a super neat cut like some people like to take take it off a table saw or a chop saw because it does leave a nicer cleaner cut than a rough bandsaw blade but as I said you're going to tidy up the ends anyway with one of those uh, blank mills so who cares all right this time hopefully this is it and keep safe.